Angle of Sunset Path with Horizon, my informal results on the Equinox, September 22nd, 2017 in Norristown, PA. The idea here is that you take two photos uh, fairly near either sunrise or sunset, and then you measure the angle that's, uh, that it makes with the horizon. Unfortunately, I was a bit sloppy in my data gathering, uh, which made me very sad, but I did have a knight in shining armor come to my rescue in the form of an app for my phone. So we'll talk about that in a moment. So the instructions are in a, um, a, a video from a year ago, Equinox Observation, and essentially you take two photos and then you layer the photos and then you can draw a line and then measure that angle uh, on the Equinox. So here's where I made my um, sunset recording in uh, Norristown, Pennsylvania. I was facing, facing west. So what I did is when I was working uh, in, in this area and I, I was really the main focus of my video was the cardinal azimuth tool. So when I was working with that tool, I just took a couple photos of the, um, of the setting sun um, maybe about an hour apart and uh, so I could do this analysis. So this was the place where the cardinal azimuth tool was used, that was that curb, but very nearby was a, a um, telephone pole with a warning post and I, I rested my camera on top of that post. So here's the post and I just uh, stuck my camera on top. And uh, oh, you know, only little people make careful measurements. Eh, that's gonna bite me in the rear end. Um, so this is what the, uh, the original photo uh, looked like, and you really cannot see the, a clear like circle of the sun. You really can't, you know, like what's the exact center of the sun. So what I did is I brought along some solar filter film, and these two photos are literally taken moments apart. Um, and so holding the solar filter in front, uh, you can see the little dot, and that's that's actually where the sun position is. So the idea is I'm going to take two of these photos, and then I could line up those those dots and measure the angle. At least that's the idea. Uh, so again, in the other video, I talked about how you can use transparency, um, and literally, I'm just using Apple Keynote. Uh, I never learned Photoshop, but those of you who are pretty sophisticated can do this uh, pretty well, using transparency to, to very, very carefully line up the two photos so that you can make this uh, measurement. So here you see the two photos are lined up. Uh, there's one in front, there's one in the back. Uh, and again, there's the little dot, which is kind of hard to see in the glare, but uh, I could see it well enough. And then uh, I, I did line, line these up uh, pretty well. And so let's apply some transparency to the front photo. Unfortunately, we just lost the sun. So what I did is I put in some crosshairs where the sun was, and then I put in some more transparency. And so you could really, you could really see where the, uh, the sun's location was on those two photos. Now, the problem was that I was trying very, very hard to have these, the, the camera be lined up as best as I could. Unfortunately, I did not pay attention to how level the camera was. So I came back the next day and I ran an app called Diopthrace, which is on Android. And what that shows me is um, it uses the you know, accelerometers and it shows me the, like the level, the level position of the phone, uh, as well as you know, time and date and all kinds of stuff like that. So, uh, so the phone here, the phone is resting on that that post, um, and I turned the phone a little bit so that it would be a little bit more level, and that's sort of what it should look like. So I really need to rotate the rotate the image. Uh, clockwise and by how much by 6.9 degrees okay so I'm gonna take the um, take this and I'm gonna rotate it 6.9 degrees at least that's what the app said um, and then I draw a line through that and it's 51.1 degree angle with horizontal um, I just use this background because it was very artistic so what kind of math can we do with 51.1 degrees well, the complement is 38.9 degrees, and this is supposed to predict, predict my latitude. Um, now, my latitude at this location was 40.1 degrees, which means my error uh, was 1.2. So I, I ended up with fairly decent results, even though my, my data gathering was, was pretty, uh, pretty horrible. But um, I now know what to do next time. So no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Thank you.